welcome to with love jennifer uh, so yes uh, this program this video is all about soap making homemade soap making So before getting into today's program, let me introduce my dad. He is uh, Charles Aradraj, and he is pro at home about soap making because he is the one who taught me as well, and uh, he knows lots and lots of soaps and all his calculations, everything. Uh, so first, uh, tell hi to the people, no? Hi. Uh, so what is soap? How is soap made? And uh, please let me know. Soap is a cleansing agent, and it's made by mixing the fat or fat of animals or vegetables with sodium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide is called like when both are mixed soap is formed and that is process is called saponification so when saponification happens soap is formed which can't be reverted back so soap is a cleansing agent okay so how is it made uh, it's made see sodium we have got sodium hydroxide mm -hmm. potassium hydroxide we have mm -hmm. got sodium hydroxide is used to make Uh, solid soaps. Yes. Potassium hydroxide is used, used to, to make, make liquid, liquid soaps, soaps. and it's mixed with oils. Not only oils of vegetables, but even fat, animal fat also is mixed uh, with sodium hydroxide to make soap. And the homemade soap is the best soap. Okay, so why homemade soap is the best soap? When you have uh, uh, soap in uh, any shop, no, any grocery shop or whatever shop you go, you can buy soap and you can use it directly. So why homemade soap? I so the answer to answer that you just go to the grocery shop, buy your soap. What soap you are buying it? Just look back, turn back, yeah. and see the ingredients. Mm -hmm. If you can understand the ingredients, well, find it's a good soap. I don't think you'll be able to understand the ingredients because a lot of chemicals are there, and mostly all commercial soaps are made with palm oil only and palm kernel oil. Very rarely they use coconut oil. Yeah, even I, if you uh, look into this. Famous baby soaps and all, no. Even if the baby soap soap has so much of uh, uh, chemical content, so I think the homemade soap, even the homemade uh, soap, contains little uh, chemical. But uh, meanwhile, no. So like for a month, we are nullifying it. Yeah, we are nullifying it. See what happens in the saponification process: the sodium hydroxide and fats, that is oils, mix together and become soap. It's a chemical reaction. When a chemical reaction happens. You can't revert back to that. That is the properties will be completely different. So what happens is sodium hydroxide is completely nullified. As we say, for example, we take sodium chloride. The salt we use it, but sodium is a separate element. It's volatile element, and chlorine a separate element. It's a poisonous gas. So we can't say there is poison and volatility in our sodium chloride because it's salt which we are daily consuming. Because the chemical reaction takes place. Same thing happens in soap. Sodium hydroxide reacts with fat of the oils and animals and becomes new product called soap. And that soap is a cleansing agent. Okay. So any day homemade soap is better. Best homemade soap is best because we can make the soap. When we make the soap, definitely we are going to be skin skin friendly. That is the reason why homemade soap is best. And also you will be like always telling me about this glycerin. Ah yes. One more thing important thing. See when companies make soap. Soap is not the main product. They sell it as a main product, but actually that's not the main product. The main product which they make is glycerin, because when sodium hydroxide is mixed with oils, a main product, byproduct called glycerin, forms in it. And what they do is they remove the glycerin. But the main process of soap making, glycerin is the main ingredient for moisturizing the skin. Whereas which they are taking out of the soap. They are taking out of the soap, and they are just giving you a dry bath. That's all. And many will say they have not mentioned it as soap. They just say it as bathing bars. Okay, so 
The bath in God is completely different from soap. When only saponification happens, it is soap. So, in commercially, it's a bath in God or soap. You have got a lot of chemicals in it, you don't have glycerin in it. Whereas in homemade, you have got glycerin which is moisturizing. Which the glycerin is the main ingredient which gets moisture from the air and gives it to your body, gives it to your skin. And not only that, it just fortifies the skin. Also it prevents anti-aging and Yes, right? yes, definitely, definitely. Glycerin is a good anti-aging product. Okay, so what are the oils you are using in uh, homemade soap? Usually all oils can be used and all animal fats can be used in soap making. But mostly mainly the common oils used are coconut oil, olive oil, palm oil and castor oil. Castor oil. In case if, since we have got a lot of castor oil in Chennai, Tamil Nadu over here, we are using castor oil also. Even but the neem oil yes, and the uh, oil, all these kinds oil, of oils, oil, oil we can use. Any oil you can use that will go in future episodes. We will see what are oils are added to it, how it behaves to the skin. Because but today we are just going to show a basic homemade soap with four oils, oils. which is coconut oil, olive oil, uh, palm oil and, and castor, castor oil. oil. So and castor. the uh, quantity of each oil. The yeah, quantity of it, we are going to make 500 grams of oil. The quantity, we are going to give you a fixed quantity now, but how the quantity comes? The each oil has got a SAP value. Mm -hmm. And that SAP value determines how much of sodium hydroxide should be used to it. So I know the coconut saponification value, it is uh, 0.191. Ah, yes, that is it. And what is it is? 0 0.19 milligram of sodium hydroxide is needed to convert 1 gram of oil, right. coconut oil. Okay, coconut oil. Okay. Coconut oil mm -hmm. into soap. Mm -hmm. So you have to calculate with that. Okay, so I know this calculation is little risky and even I'm not able to get it. Uh, so in your in coming up episodes or not, we'll just show you what are the uh, calculations or if you want to have a personalized class with us, you can come home and you can learn yes. soap making at home with us or even on the, we have the online classes, we conduct online classes, we can provide you the details of uh, calculations and you will uh, Get yes. to take home yes. six types of six so, soaps, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Two types of six soaps. They can. They will make it and go. Mm -hmm. They will make their own soap and take home. Okay. And they will learn. They can do whatever soap they want after that. Okay. It's a, that is the that's the main thing. That is, they can do whatever. Even soap if you wanna uh, <coughs> convert it as a commercial yes, thing, no? so if you they wanna can do it. sell it, you can definitely, definitely learn from us learn and. From us. Uh, and uh, take it to the next step. Uh, so we do have another play page on Instagram called uh, Homemade with Love Jen where we are selling herbal products, Shikai and uh, homemade soap. Nalan Mava, of us, which is the herbal product, that is the uh, key product of our uh, uh, production I would say. Uh, so also homemade products which is like soap and all. But, so, uh, but one more thing, any day I will say. Nalan Mava is much 100% far better than soap. Uh, because yeah, Nalan Mava is which is the herbal uh, powder, powder that is much more better than soap any day. But in a very busy life, right, uh, we exactly. people are like running every day here and there. We are like just getting ready quickly because we have kids at home. We have to get ready in like five ten minutes and then run into office, come back home. So we don't have much time to use Nalan Mava yeah, or herbal that's powder. So that's the main reason we are coming with the homemade soap, which is again very good for skin anti-aging leather for right from anti-aging uh, to uh, whatever it is, keeping your skin, skin moisturized, yes, skin friendly. Yes, 100% skin, skin friendly, even whether it be oily skin or it like it be flaky skin, yes. normal skin, whatever it is, you can make your own soap. Exactly, and we have come up with another uh, uh, interesting idea for our page, which is which is uh, Made Your Soap with Jenny, uh, in which we are customizing your own soap, uh, depending on your skin types. So, uh, for instance, if you have uh, dry skin or sensitive skin, we'll uh, suggest you what type of uh, oil or what type of skin fat. Yeah, there are also a lot of butters. Yes. Cocoa butter, shea butter, mango butter and all. These are all can be incorporated in the soap and there are a lot of herbs. You believe it or not, there are thousands of varieties of soap. Okay. Even even we are going to teach you in future on episodes, we will come up with we are using water here, but instead of water something else can be used. Okay, even uh, juices like beetroot juice or That's if you want the natural colors, you can use beetroot juice. Yeah? I think this is like uh, a sea. Uh, you can like still learn, learn every day. You will learn every day and you can like uh, mix hundreds and hundreds of soaps. Oh, uh, so uh, to find which soap actually suits your own skin, that is the uh, 
uh, process here. So that is what we want to do next, like finding your own soap for your own skin. Uh, so we will be coming up with that, that idea later. So first we will do uh, the basic soap here. We will uh, make it with coconut oil as I said before, coconut oil, olive oil, castor oil and palm oil. oil. And uh, we need lye for that which is sodium hydroxide, in other words it is called as lye and water, <coughs> distilled water. Uh, so the basic drinking water you can use it, yeah. can water, water. Can can water you can use and then uh, fragrance oil or essential oil and colors if you want. So these are the uh, basic ingredients, the basic ingredient I would say which is like oil um, and uh, light sodium hydroxide and, and then water. water and fragrance. That's it, the three ingredients, the three, ingredients. three top means... ingredients are the... Uh, ah, three ingredients make the soap. Yes, three ingredients to make the soap, You all you need is oil. Um, light and water. That's it. So let me jump into it. Uh, before getting into the handmade soap, uh, let me talk about what are the types of handmade soaps are there. So that is an important point. As far as my knowledge, I think there is cold process soap, there is uh, hot, hot process soap and metal pour soap. So my favorite is cold process soap. So you tell me why is it cold process soap. See, I think there are three types of soap. Right, it's fine. Melt and pour soap. Mm -hmm. It's just like going to the hotel and getting it. That is it. Just melt it and pour it. We don't know what is it in the base. You just buy it from the shop. You buy the, it's like buying a soap. It's like buying a soap. So, so some people actually, uh, I've seen many Instagram pages where they give homemade soap in the name of uh, melt, and melt and pour soap. Actually, no, in the name of melt and pour soap, they give the homemade, homemade soap, soap, which is actually not the homemade, paka yeah, homemade yeah. soap. Actually. See, actually, in melt and pour soap, they've got base for papaya soap, coffee soap, boat milk soap. Yes, if they give what they just come and uh, bring it and melt it and add some fragrance. Yeah, even in the paste, there will be a lot of chemicals yes. which we won't know. Yeah. So actually, it is easy to make melt and pour soap, but we will definitely not suggest it. Melt and pour soap looks glossy, it looks really good, and it is easy to make, but it is not the soap that you really need if you are looking for some homemade, homemade uh, typical soap. homemade yeah. uh, chemical free soap. Yeah. So what is hot process soap? Hot process soap is. Where, we, where the heating process takes place for about 3 hours where we mix the ingredients and heat it but the main disadvantage of the uh, hot process soap is what happens is it forms into grains so what happens when you pour into the mold it will actually grainy which will not look like nice ok it will okay. not look nice also it is not yeah, yeah. really yeah. But uh, advantage, easy to use. Easy to use and advantage to that is you can just use it within 2 or 3 days ok but cold process soap what is the advantages and disadvantages yeah. of cold process soap is the best soap what is it we make the soap on the table uh, no heating is there we just do it mix the mix the ingredients and make it a soap and the disadvantage to that is you have to cure it for one month. Okay, so days. what is what is this curing? Curing is the soap saponification. Saponification process is go will go on for one month. So Only one after one month. It's just very complicated. These words saponification or curing, whatever it is. So it's, it's very curing. simple form. You just keep it aside for a month and use it. Use that's it. it. That's it. That's, so all. that's, that's it. All. That is what the saponification or uh, curing or whatever yes, yes, it is. Simple, simple. Just keep it for one month aside. Don't use it for one month. And why is it? Uh, because the chemical will, yeah. will get nullified, nullified. right? That it is will it. get that nullified is. and will give you, give you a pure chemical free soap. Yes, that's it. That's so we are going to see cold process soap which is very easy. All you need is uh, some weighing machine, weighing scale, weighing weighing scale, weighing scale, weighing kitchen weighing scale. It seems soap main cold process soap, we always use only weights. We don't use volume. Whatever ingredients we take, we use it only by weight. Grams. Yes. Only grams, pounds, or whatever it is. Grams. We use grams. it. Yeah, we use it only by weight. No volume is there. So it's must that if you have. It is not like in liter or. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is definitely completely like grams. Okay? Only, only in weight, weight, weight. So you must need a weighing scale. Weighing scale. So, and yes. So next important thing is protection. Protection. You have to really protect yourselves from. Uh, uh, so from all these chemicals that you are using, even though it is chemical free soap, while the while we are doing this soap, the process in the process we are using uh, uh, lime, which is sodium hydroxide, which is a chemical. So definitely you have to uh, have all your safety gears and uh, if possible the goggles or uh, face mask. If you need, you can use that also. Uh, so to make this basic homemade soap, we are taking 58 grams of sodium hydroxide 
which is light. Okay. Measurement of water is 132 grams. So one more important point while mixing sodium hydroxide and water is always and always always mix sodium hydroxide into the water. Uh, don't mix, I mean like don't pour water into this chemical which will again burst. 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 Okay, burst. right. So I'm just putting it in water, little and little and mix it. Will be generating so they are taking off 200 degrees and all. So be careful, be hot. So, just for this process, you can go outside if you want, you can get into the balcony or you can go to the corridor or something. Or I'm just making it here, I got used to it. There's nothing wrong if you do inside, it's just it will be better if you do outside. Yes, all the particles melt. If you touch it, it's really hot, really, really hot. Don't panic, it will get heated like this and then uh, if you keep it aside for like a one hour or something like that. One hour or something, it, it will come get, to room temperature. Yes. And then you can use it. But before using it, before pouring this into oil mixture, make sure you filter it. Okay? Just make sure even the tiniest uh, solid particle, if there is the tiniest solid uh, lye particle in this. No, what will happen is yes. when you make the soap. The particle will be there in the soap and when you rub up against your body, it will burn your body. Yes, so, so make you sure. Be careful. Yeah. And one more thing, see since you are a beginner only, I am saying that you should uh, make this uh, light temperature to the room temperature. Okay. But actually when you go and learn and learn and learn and you become a professional, you can just add hot light to the hot oils. That process is done when you come to class, I will be teaching. Oh, okay. But now as a... No, this is just to a beginning yeah. and all. No? As just a beginner, I think I can just because they have to measure the sure temperature and all yeah. everything and all. I just make sure there are no particles. Mix it well and keep it aside and make sure it comes to the room temperature. temperature. And then mix it with oils. So yes. Let's keep this aside. I have another mixture that we have filtered and kept aside. Uh, so we'll continue with that. Uh, so the next process is measuring the oils. oils. First, we are taking coconut oil, which is 140 grams. 140 grams of coconut oil. Next, 120 grams of olive oil. So, is this virgin olive oil or? No, no, this is pomace olive oil. One thing, main thing, when you are using base oils to make soap, you always use less expensive oils. The main reason is, it will become soap. But, you can add extra oils, you can add virgin oils, you can add any other oils, later on in the soap, which will give it quality, will give it to the skin. 120 grams of olive oil. Mixing four oils together. And then palm oil, same as which is 120 grams. Make sure you follow these uh, measurements to the tea. Castor oil. Castor oil. Which is 20 grams. Oil. What is the difference between fragrance oil and essential oil? Essential oil is natural oil. Mm -hmm. It's derived from plants. Uh, fragrance oil is mostly in soap making. Actually, fragrance oil is made from essential oils, but some chemicals, some chemicals are added to it. So, if you want pure non-chemical, I mean uh, non-chemical product, then you should use essential oil. And this is also good for skin. Whereas fragrance oil is just good smell. It gives good smell but that doesn't give any good to the skin. skin. Uh, it doesn't do any good to the skin but in uh, meanwhile this essential, essential oil, oil does yeah, good yeah, to the skin Definitely, also, right? definitely. Ah, but the smell may not be as attractive as fragrance oils okay. in essential oils but it's good to the skin. Okay, so green apple uh, fragrance oil is what we're going to use, use now and it is 15 grams. Next, 
nice. The fragrance oil now or later? No, later on. After you mix the oils and uh, light. Okay, so once you mix the light and the oil, it will uh, eventually turn yeah, into yeah, yeah. soap and it will make a liquid form, right? yeah. a very little solid form. So I think it is better you measure the fragrance oil first itself. So now, now I'm going to mix. No, you can mix sodium hydroxide with oil, so simply with anything you can. Okay, yeah. I'm mixing the lye mixture into the oil. Make sure it is filtered. Grams of fragrance oil. If you just do this, you will get the trace. So this is called trace, and it's ready. So ready. So you just pour into the mold. So once you pour into the mold, you just make sure you cover it completely with some cloth, some dry cloth, and keep it aside for a day. And then you can get it out of the mold and keep it aside for a month at least. Uh, make sure you don't use it before a month. So please make sure you don't use it before a month. Yeah, right? that's, that's it, will, it. Uh, it will get the curing, time, curing, yeah, time. curing time. So after a month you can use it. So thank you so much for watching my uh, homemade soap class. So I think it was uh, good. Uh, and in my following weeks I will be showing more and more of uh, uh, homemade soaps and different types of homemade soaps plus with the colors and uh, I think it is going to be really nice. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. please do subscribe to my channel. See you with some other uh, program. Until then, it's bye bye from Chennai. Bye bye. Tata and my daddy. Bye.